ပါမိကောခေတကေကိုပြန်ရောက်တော်မှာလားဒါမှမဟုတ်အခုပြည်ကြီးကဥပြည်ကြီးလို့လွတ်ပြနိုင်ပါမလားဒီနေ့ကျ
Let's this, go, the Lord. Let's this go. Is, realize that, hey, the orange buff is going to be taken down, or rather the orange buff, someone is going to go over to the orange buff. In the meantime, it does seem like Kyrie did manage to bring the orange buff down. Keyboy and Kyrie oh. is running for their dear life. The and the Lord takes his very first kill that in was... MSC 2023. Well, you want to make sure someone dies first. 8,000 if you the Lord. And, and now, this is going to be a finesse race. Plus, it was passing on to the Lord. And Taz will eventually be able to get the Lord down. But unfortunately, throughout all of that, the Lord is still going to be taken down to the hands of Onyx. He's going to make sure that they get it. Looking at the Lord, he is inside the base of Onyx. And Keyboy jumps himself right onto the front line. Taz seems to be in a big, deep trouble as Boots puts himself right onto Hijumi. Rands all the way behind, trying to do this For the first time, Onyx gets himself the Lord, but the Lord is all the way down in the bottom lane, pushing the waves all the way through. In the meantime, we're looking at two-way road split. We're looking at two fights. Well, the main thing is, GW stalls oh! into the sky, takes two down, and Brands pop off with a win on nature. CW pops off, pops his own one, and tries to follow through. Massive split from Dillard, but it will not be enough. Does complete the push onto the bottom lane, but now, with Onyx getting the Lord, and he's just wanting to get himself right in the middle, but unfortunately, the immortality will be popped. Brands joins in the frame, and Onyx finds this time to run oh! away, but Dreams! He knew that, is, that this moment will come with a flicker. Dreams. Will you have a good position? Keyboy is looking for a target. He finds Dreams. And immediately slams him into the wall. Hijumi came in to give him the insurance policy. Dream S is still alive. However, the law okay. is not. It's going to be popping off with the immortality. And immediately with the lightning throw with the truncheon, he could have stayed alive. The glory comes in. But that's right, use. And does seem as though Taz was hoping that he'll be able to get a kill down the sand, but the rest of the members from the side of Oni will probably want to focus down the floor. But the Lord is free, he's frozen. He don't care about much at all. But the main front line of Onyx, it kind of seems as though we've got Kyrie taken down. But it's oh, quite a lot of trade. Dream, Taz, the law, all of them taken down. Keyboard, back line, but they don't care. Looks like now, match point for Onyx. The Lord comes in. Honestly, quite a good change. He was looking pretty good, but not good enough. Mako wasn't theirs, unfortunately. He's not even level 4, so I don't think it's even an option. Yeah, this is going to be tough here, but they are going to force the fight. Saksa, he was a killer turtle. He is looking to invade, but smooth. He's going to be left alone. Pick the part. Martinez kills him off, but he's got a bigger picture. It doesn't matter. I will sacrifice smooth if I can get rival again. Two times in a row, Todak has lost the junction. Steel Blade comes in, they find Smooth isolated. Five men completely swamped on him. And now the rest of his MG, they're looking to try and re-engage. Miku with the conceal. He gets a two-making oh. and he finds Shiku! He's gonna be the one to fall. And now Sasa has got free reign to do whatever he wants. He gets a double kill. He goes into blazing to win. He's looking to kill off Martizi, but no! Martizi kills him with the decimation while Stormy run over by Chiku. He's thinking about it, but Chiku is a little bit of great fight, fight, fight this and Sasa goes for the defensive blazing duet but Momo! He finishes off Stormy at his own expense but Sasa once again he will pick off Chiku guys and watch out they follow up and catch the back line Stormy gets out the flicker and now the real position keeps them all in place and SMG they will try to counterplay here Miko Stalls Chiku guys with the Wave of Dragons. The Wave of Nature is coming in from him. Will save his life, but they've lost all their members. Rival Blast Stand and SMG. They are at the weakness and then punish them. But in this case, Black Lines in Momo looking for the first. Stormy gets shipped away. Forced to disengage. But now Miko! Oh. What a catch! A two man Cyrus Rich out of nowhere! But Sasa just got his one as well. So they are going to try to collapse with this. Miko going for the flicker catch. But no, he is going to get caught out here. But no, the disengage comes in. But Cake calling comes in, is gonna catch them off guard, and they are gonna lose members for this. Hold on, they lose for TZ, but the crystal is exposed. The Lord is chunking it away, and that is gonna be Team SMG securing the series with a 2 1 against Toda.